Welcome, in front of me is Acer Nitro 5 and in this video I will show you what to do if your laptop's battery is draining way too fast. So first thing that you can do is change power settings on your computer and to do that right click the battery icon on your status bar, go to power and sleep settings and here you can change the power mode from best performance or from balance to best power efficiency this way your battery will live uh, longer you can change this uh, option for both uh, plugged in and on battery options so that your device uses as uh, little energy as possible uh, you can also go to screen sleep and hibernate timeouts and set all the values right here to recommended ones and also you can consider using energy saver to enable it manually you, ha you have to uh, switch this toggle to the right but i recommend uh, using this automatic feature you can choose ch the value uh, of your battery level F at which you want the energy saver to automatically turn on uh, if you want it to, to be turned on once your device is unplugged uh, from the power source uh, just select always right here and uh, you can decide whether or not you want to lower screen brightness when using energy saver it's a useful feature for that but uh, using your device with low brightness would be pretty un 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 uncomfortable now the next thing that you can do is lower the screen brightness. To do that, right? Uh, no, just click these three icons on your status bar, open the control center, and then moving the slider, move the slider uh, at the top to the left to the point where you're still comfortable with using your device with its current brightness level. The next thing that you can do is uh, reduce the amount of applications that uh, use the m most battery to do that right click the taskbar go to task manager then go to processes tab right here right click one of these columns and select power usage on the list then sort all the applications by power usage and if you have some applications that use uh, a lot of power you can right click one of them and select end task this way you will shut down the troublesome application now you can also reduce the application uh, the, the amount of uh, startup application in the startup apps menu right here uh, just sort them by status see which ones are enabled and these applications basically uh, start up when your PC boots up uh, which means that they not only uh, increase your startup uh, time uh, but also work in the background all the time uh, uh, using your battery power uh, so if you have some applications that you don't necessarily need to start up when your PC boots up uh, and they are uh, enabled uh, just right click one of these applications and select disable and this way it will uh, it, uh, you will prevent uh, this application from startup on your uh, PC startup. Okay, uh, so the next thing that you can do is uh, uh, disconnect the devices that are connected to your PC with, with Bluetooth, uh, especially the, one, the ones that you don't use. So first of all, uh, open the control center again, then go to uh, check if your Bluetooth is turned on, go to the uh, Bluetooth applications list by clicking this arrow icon next to the Bluetooth icon. See if you have any applications on the list that you that are connected to your device. If there are any uh, that you don't need right now, for example, then click on such application and su such uh, device and uh, select disconnect. And this way, it will disconnect uh, a device from your computer, and it will stop uh, using your battery power. And you can as uh, also turn off the Bluetooth in order to reduce uh, battery usage as well. Uh, the next thing that you can do is uh, update your device, especially your device's driver. To do that, open the start menu, go to settings, go to Windows update section, 
check for updates by clicking right here and wait until your device finds any updates and if it does uh, it will start automatically downloading and installing them on your computer you can also go to advanced options optional updates and here you'll find the driver updates if you expand the driver uh, updates list uh, you you'll be able to uh, hit the checkbox next to the ones that you want to install and then click download and install and they will begin uh, the installation process and uh, if you want to check for additional driver updates as well as some more uh, useful uh, battery uh, man man management uh, features uh, for your on your PC you have to download the application that is called Acer uh, Acer Care, Care Center and you can find it if you open the web browser then go to the search engine let me open it in the private tab since I made a lot of requests to the Acer website recently which means that they might uh, not want me to do this anymore uh, okay so uh, let me j uh, just open it and uh, in your uh, on in your uh, search engine search for the Acer drivers press enter and you're gonna find the official acer.com uh, slash home slash sport website uh, that says download Acer support drivers and manuals uh, click on it to open and uh, uh, to download this application you're gonna have to find your device's serial number or SNID they are both located on the back cover of your device on a label that looks like this so just find this label with two barcodes on it and then uh, check your S uh, serial number or SNID you can use any of these numbers so just write one of them down or just take a picture of them and then uh, enter uh, this uh, one of these two numbers into this field I'm gonna use the SNID because it's uh, shorter so I'm less likely gonna make a mistake while in, uh, entering it Once you enter it, press enter and on the following page you're gonna have to go to the very bottom of the list, find the application section, expand it and then click download next to Acer controls, uh, Acer care center. Uh, wait until this uh, zip file downloads. Okay, let me delete the previous two folders. Okay, so once it downloads, right click the zip file and then uh, select open with file explorer or just double click on it and it will open and uh, then c uh, copy this folder inside go back to downloads and paste it in uh, in here then open this folder double click setup click yes then click next and I'm all I already have this uh, application on my computer so I can only remove it but what you, you're gonna have to do is read and accept the uh, license uh, agreement to continue and then uh, click next uh, next and and finish and the application will uh, will be downloaded and installed in your computer and uh, yeah that's pretty plain and simple uh, once you do that you can open the start menu then go to the list of all applications and you'll go, you're gonna find the care center under the C letter on this list uh, open the care center application and here you can uh, update your device by hitting this update tab Uh, now to find any updates just click check now and see if this application finds any necessary applications for updates for your device and if it finds any uh, just click update all and uh, it will update all the uh, uh, all, all the uh, software that it that your device needs now you can also go to checkup and in checkup section uh, there is actually a useful feature for your device uh, so you can uh, simply ch uh, click check now right here and this way uh, see the status of your battery and uh, if it's good then uh, that's great that you, you can continue using this uh, battery now if it's uh, less than that then uh, it will either share uh, some tips 
on how to improve your battery uh, health or uh, it will just uh, su rec suggest you to replace uh, the battery once it's uh, really worn out. Uh, now, if you click the arrow icon in this section, you can uh, enable the battery charge limit. Now this way you will, your battery will not charge to 100%, which I'm not entirely sure uh, if that's uh, what you want for your battery, but in the long run, it will improve your battery health and uh, it will increase its lifespan if you switch this toggle to the right and click continue this and uh, this way you will enable battery charge limit so your, lap uh, your laptop's battery will not be charged to 100% all the time which will uh, 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 <laughs> Which, which is basically the burden for your battery to, to be charged to 100% of all the time, especially if you're gaming. Now, and now this feature just prevents your battery from, uh, you know, o overcharging and, and therefore uh, being worn out uh, is, uh, easier. And on the following page, you can enable battery cal calibration. And if you have problems with your battery, then I recommend you using this feature it will take you a, um, up to a couple of hours uh, usually about half an hour for this PC uh, and I recommend calibrating your battery e e every three months and uh, basically that's that would be the the most of, of the things that I could have shared with you if you want to, you can go to tune-up section and here select optimize. It will also help you with your battery drain problem. Uh, go to delete junk files and uh, delete junk, junk files from your computer, which is, well, not entirely battery re related, but also is good for your computer's health. So you, ca you have to simply click clean right here. You can uh, hit the checkboxes next to the files that you want to delete. And that's basically that's it so thank you so much for watching this video i hope that it helped you and if it did please consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like in the comment below and i'll see you in the next one